Welcome back. So I lost a monitor. Anyway, that's so we're gonna be working with one monitor now for the time being. Okay. Oh yeah, I already hit play. I just can't hear it. Can't hear it. Okay. So today's episode is gonna be about surprise. I know. Shallograms. But not just any shallograms, although pretty much any sh any shallograms. These ones, interestingly, uh, really drive home something I've been stating. They're not fossils. It really shows they're not fossils. So this one, maybe we can pull up some similar ones. Uh, let's see. La la la. It might be good just to go to their actual website. Go here. And then go here. Here. Hmm. Maybe here and these ones. The small ones, basically. These ones. So these distinctly have different features, like pillars, pillar, and like very rectangular comparatively. I mean, not always. They're, they do also have the more standard ones, but pillar is maybe a good one to look at right now. Not sure if I have that one with pictures. Things like this and things like that. Okay. So this one is probably good to look at because we have this pillar. <clears throat> we have this pillar here, this square here. We have this pillar here, this square here. This square is boundaried pretty much within this or this rectangle, within this right rectangle's boundaries just below. Probably also not quite as tall, it looks like. I don't know why exactly that would be, except for this being like a dominant and recessive eddy that was forming, that was producing this outcome. <clears throat> so this one's good to look at, because when we look at this one, it really makes it clear that this here is obviously one of these, this here is one of these, but then there's this weird thing over here, which shallograms do, where they have like another chamber, so it looks almost like this chakra system has a first chamber and then a second chamber over here with a separator. But this separator goes down and is literally the chakra here down here. So there's a chakra down here that connects up through here literally as the boundary of this ammonite. <clears throat> and then behaves as a second chakra. So there's a first chakra here, there's a second chakra here that has basically these two chambers as its surrounding chambers. So it's like this is just a wall in that instance behaving as one essentially this looks more like the actual chakra and this is more like a wall like it looks elongated back there <clears throat> so this one i drew it here makes it a little more clear we can see the chakra here there's lines there kind of thing there's also this one up here that has the general outline like this and like this and like an upward thing just here though and it's in line with this and then up here <clears throat> is another one that we can't see here but we can see a line generally like that <clears throat> So there's those things going on here. So what does that mean? It means this shallogram, in my opinion, pr 
proves they're not am they're not fossils. Ammonites are not fossils, is what it proves. Because of the chakra connection between them, and that's what we're gonna keep seeing. Also, like this boundary here. This is a little past over here in the similar way to that other one we were looking at. Comparing to this, a little closer view. Can more definitely see the lobe there and kind of chakra point with it extending out that way and kind of going down and then just interacting with this. So it's almost like this chakra is bounded at whatever's going on here and maybe like relating down here. So like there's an energetic relevance <clears throat> to where this is happening compared to what's going on down here. So if there's a sh like some sort of energy flow along this channel, it seems to have progressed also up here and influencing this channel between here that there's this like place it, that wasn't influenced in the similar way to down here because it's pretty much just etching the rock out but in this region it's like not it's compacting it so that it's harder to etch it out and just makes like a pillar a chakra and then a nucleus at times in a spherical way even all sorts of stuff but then up here, like that kind of relates to here. Even this far boundary relates to right there, like right there. And also generally to where this loop seemingly ends. So there's all these energetic relationships that if they're just fossils make no sense. Like there, it would be coincidence, which again, time erosion coincidence does not stand in the light of this evidence. This is another face. It took me a while to figure out what's going on on this rock in terms of the faces. Here we can kind of see uh, some stuff going on over here and then up here this way. That's this stuff going on over here. This face, this is the first face over here. I think that, I believe, it's still, I'm still not completely certain actually. Now I'm looking at it again. This is definitely the first face. We can see the systems we were just talking about, the top two. This here. So this is actually looking down. We can on the first chakra. It's a little odd, honestly. It's hard to tell what this tells us about down here. Like there's there's some kind of protrusion, protrusion, almost like there were two sides around this, and it was behaving more like this. with like a gap forming at the center there. Something more staggered than is it, than is clear at, unless it's here. But we really see that those things above it. So it's gotta be this one. It's gotta be down here. I don't see it at all in this image. The, but it, I mean, it's just gotta be. This stuff we can see. Oh, there's some chakras there. Something going on here. Another chakra there. Okay. So that one I would say distinguishably is not caused by fossilization. And the, the with no real intent of my own, the ammonites that I like the shallow the shallograms that i took images of today before doing this video are highly themed in anomalous things of this nature that are like dude these are not fossils look at this look at this let's see if we can find anything in this one 
It's a little odd. Like, it looks like a center of an ammonite that's spiraling out, but then it also looks like it's spiraling out the other way. And, like, not etching in here. I don't know what to make of that exactly. I guess it's going under and just going one way, maybe. Okay. This in maybe in line with the far end. Maybe the like dimensions of this are even related. Like there. Maybe pointing at that chakra there. Chakra down here, weird little spiral type one next to it. One on the back of this one. This chakra also is definitely pointing up there. So from over here and here, they're pointing at each other. If we follow this down, it points generally at that one as well. This looks like it's pointing over there pretty well. Follow this down. It looks like it's pointing at this and not this. Although maybe if we follow the far side down, it might be pointing at more there. Maybe the middle here or this far side. I don't know. I don't want to like make it go there because it looks pretty good. But it, it might be more related to like an energy flow from the middle of there that tends to happen top to bottom, even though it's rectangular in this case. Little puncture hole inside that oh I see wow it looks so different at that angle <clears throat> definitely some subtleties in there like some eddy was going on but just making connect the dots things. Chakra here. Like what? Why does it do? Why would it do that? Like it should have a bottom side underneath this here. That's the opposing face of this ammonite. And this is a little odd. This is, seems unrelated. Like, it's unrelated to this ammonite for there to be another ammonite shell there under fossilization interpretation. But it's, like, perfect. <laughs> Perfectly resting against it. Right off of this corner. Another ammonite towards the boundary, maybe. This points generally around this boundary, and whatever this boundary, this is a whole width that generally points at this whole width. Which maybe also has a boundary here, like right there specifically, and another one there, and maybe there. Okay, sorry. This chakra smoothly connects up here to this little flow, this tab, this connector. Same over here, like why would it do that? From a fossilization standpoint, why would it do that? From a current standpoint, where flows are inducing the shapes, molding it like along the boundary if it forms at an angle where the, the chakra 
works out that way, I mean, then it makes sense why we kind of have this little overhang that then at its base, a current flow wraps around it pretty much and induces a ammonite shape when circumstances are appropriate that the water current, water, water current, and just current in general, that was also shale, sand, pyrite maybe, whatever materials are within the stone exactly, including water fl flow. In these cases, the water overwhelmed it and re removed all the material, <clears throat> but left behind structure that should not be like this unless it's current flow induced. Like a fossilization really does not explain this. We're gonna see another one that is very similar in nature in that it's because of its being at the boundary of the rock that it, when this system formed at the boundary of the rock, it has boundary of the rock elements like revealing themselves more so than usual because of the slant to this where the chakra it's just right it's just right to reveal some peculiarity chakras across there like it's not an accident that a lot of these chakras form along the surface like this that are like half in half out ammonites it's that the chakras themselves are forming from a continuous surface like over here that then starts to have puncture holes formed into it by pressure that's like gets in but it can't stay in so it gets pushed out and then eddies there because there's a lot of pressure outside so just like it does that until the pressure releases Relieves, whatever you want to say. Okay, so that's this one. Definitely some unique, interesting things going on. Not, uh, not something I would say to be a proof positive shallogram with what I just said. At least, I mean, it's certainly highly anomalous. The other one literally cannot make sense from a fossilization standpoint because the chakra connects it's as if there was a chakra down here that connected up through here it doesn't actually make sense this one's interesting because it looks like this this here like it formed here and formed here essentially it forms the lobes that get larger like a small one a bigger one a bigger one a bigger one bigger one bigger one and then it was forming the next bigger one but how it looks like it was doing it was by just extending which it also looks like it did the whole way just extending this path where over here it's a little more tooth like just extending it and then going over here so extending that, which like things like this don't make sense from a time erosion coincidence standpoint. It's ridiculous. It's, it's just like because there's no answer that that's satisfactory. But when currents can explain things like this with an actual explanation, then time erosion and coincidence become a lot less sufficient. It's like, ah, dude. Okay, so anyway. So it anomalously did this. It looks like it was trying to form like a larger one over here. It just didn't complete. Maybe it got close enough to the edge that it like could be... A Pretty much it looks like it. if we look here, there's a flat surface that's kind of got a boundary around here. Something of that nature. Within the flat surface, this forms. But then it, this current reaches that boundary. Not the boundary of the like furthest distance of the rock, but the boundary of its flat face. That was more smooth, so when current goes into it, it like has nowhere to go. <sighs>
I can't even mute myself without a second monitor. There must be a hotkey to mute without having my stream labs. Uh, I don't know. Also, there's some fractures here. <clears throat> Something going on there. Stuff going on in there. You can still see it. Pretty much it reaches the edge of where the shadow changes, showing the, like the edge of the flat face. <clears throat> Which means the pressure, the current in here, just was able to flow out atop the surface <clears throat> and no longer be etching into the surface so that it didn't like go back. Instead of going back, it probably went like more this way and maybe around like things like that where it becomes part of an even larger current flow that's made outside of the rock, maybe influencing into the rock somewhat, but way more subtle. Like it looks like it might have went off that way to a degree. <clears throat> little terminal going on, lots of interesting things over here. It do look like a lot of lines kind of going across, generally speaking, that maybe are interacting with other currents that were going across other ways, creating like chambers for some reason. And... <clears throat> this one. This one. I. I'm fairly certain all the ammonites, the shallograms I took pictures of today, I've, I don't have pictures of prior. But we can see how this is like piecemeal forming by currents. Like there's definitely a something that way. It doesn't, it's not like completely typical. And generally it's forming this U shape type thing that then has a boundary here and then this other thing going on here, boundary here, and then this, that then has this like outflow path over this way, but like maybe it's into pressure so it ends up going this way and generally going back over here to a degree. <clears throat> Then just the way this chakra is, very smooth face again, connecting to the chakra. A little different, it's not like it's draped over, it's more just like a solid layer, but still doing something of that nature where the boundary of the rock is like basically where the chakra is forming, connected to <clears throat> this little slab, this little sheet. And another one over here. The points kind of next to it. And then this points kind of into this region, like its width and this width looks related. Like where the void is. <clears throat> I don't know. And then this one has like a crack going off over here, which looks to be pushed over, like kind of parallel to the length here where it bends and then goes over this way and then no longer really seems to be interacting although maybe it went around this way too like around here just doesn't isn't clear but maybe maybe <clears throat> which would be interesting because it's really coming off of this one so it would seem it's related to these chakras but then it's bending sort of related to this one showing an energetic connection relationship a like relevance of the of this system to how this system formed not just like that it's adjacent and like fossils shouldn't influence the formation of the other in this way <clears throat> where its actual structure depends on the other system then we got this crack though so it's just like this one going this way but this one is much more like able to go in this way it seems although it branches off which is kind of interesting if we follow this line maybe it 
approaches there? Maybe not. This one maybe approaches? I don't know. Or maybe this one goes more towards that. Some sort of boundary that way. I can't mouse over it very well, but... <clears throat> Close up. I mean, it's just anomalous. It's not completely formed. Another face of it. Now we see some interesting things. So there's that thing. Are you? Wait. Is this? That's a different one. That's a different one that looks very similar. Yeah, different one. So there's another one on the opposite side somewhere. <clears throat> Looking similar, but also different. Also here we see that typical lobe, like it even looks connected to chakras going on over here, a lobe. And then off of its tip is a current flow, but this one, unlike uh, when there's not other systems involved where it just goes kind of straight out of the tip, I just assume people are aware of the things I'm saying at this point. Like sometimes it'll go like out the tip, but in this case, the one we're looking at, it also goes out the top and bottom and kind of like a thirds, not quite the top, not quite the bottom, not the side either, but in between and like a third is kind of how I look at it. Um, and it does that a lot. Like those, that's a thing that it just does. <clears throat> Not always, but it does do. And it even kind of coming out the middle there, even though it's weird shaped. Out the very middle to the bottom-ish over here, connection there, as well as like near the top. Okay. Um, so when I see this, I say it's coming out that way. Like there's a current going this way. It's maybe running into a current going the opposite way. Just a pressure holding this space. <sighs> and just making it dense there without the current like etching into it. I don't know, or maybe it's etching in from below on the, in this region, uh, possibly more while well, this is etching in from the top more. I don't know. Uh, but something that leads to this like region without the full formation of this, as well as it just being like perfectly stacked, even this shapes to this one. <sighs> But then there's a stuff going on over here. We can see little chakra stuff there. There's a chakra there. So this is kind of pointing at, possibly exactly at, I don't know, depending on where the chakra is, especially related back there, where this system provided an outward pressure so that when this current came out of here, it was like, well, I'll go this way. And it goes this way, possibly encouraged by the fact that it was flowing from over here, this way, through here, up and over. And running into resistance that was building over here. So that it stabilized and came out at the far tip here. But as soon as it did, it went in the pressure of this up this way, as well as the momentum of this up this way. I'm kind of squeezed between and found an exit path over here where then it influences over here so there's the chakra there's that region definitely a ammonite shape here chakras ammonite shape here like tightly packed in a way that makes no actual sense as well, it's just like that it even has a single thread between them. Oh, 
or that it like it's a nucleus has this oddity above it maybe this actually is related to there even or this is maybe related to there in some way like yeah like they're they're re literally go to the same distance outward this way this goes to pretty much where this bends This might go to where that one is. It looks possible. It's hard to say without seeing it the head-on kind of angle for each of these things. Looks like though this current coming out of this system going up this way goes over here and goes over into here as well as it comes out this way and goes to the same location through this kind of triangular connection point with a wave-like structure isn't that crazy wow look at that going at this angle we just pretty much see a wave like teeth across in the same way as happening over here, but it's doing it literally as part of the boundary. Fossils. <laughs> oh my god. It's incredible, dudes. I'm... While I was doing this, I... Just like tears to my eyes all the time. When I notice something, it's just like, yeah, that's it. That's it right there. <laughs> Let's see if we can find what we're looking at. I'm not sure if those are those. Oh, that's all the pictures of that one. Pretty sure I took every picture of this one that at least showed this face pretty much. And this face. Okay, are we. Uh, okay, okay, this is the one that has. Okay, we made progress. This one that goes up this way and then over and up this way is actually this one. Over and up, up. So then what it connects to comes in this way, down to this system. It connects this way through here, out that way, I guess, as well as down this way, maybe even through this way and participating in like two currents going opposite directions. This one, okay, this is interesting. It goes straight over here. It goes over, pretty parallel to that, I would say. This stretch is quite parallel to that stretch. It's almost like it went up an energy level and then went straight again. But then it ran into like a hard stop right here. Boom, 90 degrees pretty much. It goes up at a 90 degree angle and over, but also down so maybe it goes down into this system which then flowed in and did something of that nature as well as passed through and went out maybe even across through here I'm Oh, shiza. <sighs> Life.
life, liberty, the pursuit of happiness. Full score. Okay, guys, I'm going to stop here. I got to go. I'll be back. Peace.